There's the Hydra's pulling away. So he's not going to lose that many. Looking like he's going to push out, work on this uh, proxy pylon. So that's a little bit of a loss there for Noni. Pulling back and a uh, little bit of an interesting situation now for Noni. He is behind. He's been trying to find that third. And now he is uh, sending out to try and take his own third expansion. But that circling from Moonglade is going to pick this up straight away. Brilliant vision, brilliant placement for from Moonglade. He's just got such great map control and scouting. Going to force Noni to pull his stalkers back. He's pulling his whole army to deal with this one lone Zergling. And Moonglade, of course, can feel really confident about the timing right now. Knows he's got an economic advantage. And he is building Corruptors to deal with these Colossi. They will be a crucial unit for Noni to deal with his Hydra Roach Balls right now. Plus two attack upgrades coming online for uh, Moonglade as well as Roach Speed. So a bunch of sentries coming out for Noni. Really interested to see how this uh, Colossi issue is going to be able to turn the tide for Noni. Because right now forcing to pull back to get another Zergling that was just being a little bit cheeky and trying to see what's going down at that third base. Now the Otis is now on... Moonglade to either take a fourth or to disrupt this third because he wants to maintain that lead. He's got good saturation on his third, but he's been mining from his third for a while, so Noni must be a little bit unsettled. He was trying to find that third and he even moved his main force out because he knew the timing. He knew it must be there, and it's only now that he's uh, seeing exactly what's going on. Throwing out a proxy pylon at the top uh, side of his expansion just to warp in units if he needs them and get a little bit of map control back but Moonglade has just been on top of scouting this whole time so really interested to find out what Noni is going to be able to do to turn this around yeah it's really going to come down to these colossi and how well he can control these because they can completely rip through that uh, Zerg ground force but of course these corruptors if used properly will just completely demolish any of that but there's so many stalkers on the ground you gotta be very very careful looks like he's gonna go up top maybe he's got a bunch of these stalkers here they can range up there and he's got the observer up there too so he's gonna take out a bit of this uh, extractor as now the zerg forces are gonna move their way across the map gonna take out this proxy pylon as they're gonna try and uh, maybe take out this protoss force yeah, able to get a queen down to 8 hit points. These Corruptors trying to get a few free hits. This is just a bit of shadow boxing right now. Ideally for Moonglade, he wants to get these Corruptors above this cliff, get a few hits off on these uh, Colossi, but his forces are out of position now. S corruptors are nowhere near. Engaging the Hydra Roach with no Corruptor support. This is exactly what Moonglade doesn't want. Force field's going to go down, trapping a bit of his army, realizing that Hydra's are off creeps, not going to be able to run right now. Corruptors coming really late to this fight. Going to take down one Colossi, but there's still so many Stalkers in right now. These Corruptors trying to work on these Colossi, but Moonglade forced to flee, losing so much. More Corruptors coming right now. Hitting the Roach Panic button, getting a bunch of Roaches, because he's know he's basically lost a lot of his ground army. He could be a little bit vulnerable to attack right now, taking that uh, position, but he does have these Spine Crawlers he's falling back to. More Roaches pouring in, building 17 Roaches, but that engagement was really bad for Moonglade. He did not want to be fighting all these Colossi clustered in gateway units without his Corruptors. These Corruptors now trying to get these uh, c Colossi. Snipes one Colossi. That's what he wants to be doing. Doesn't want to be engaging directly. Using these Colossi to site up the cliff with a nest of all those Stalkers. Lots of Corruptors coming in right now. Will they get the third Colossi? Yes, down to two Colossi. Colossi numbers are really down. These losses hurt. The loss of a Corruptor or two is nothing compared to the Colossi uh, loss right now. Just looking at the income. Evening out a little bit, 64 Harvesters for Moonglade compared to 55 for Noni. Noni's been droning uh, up a little bit. These Hydra Roaches caught out of position without their Corruptors again. This has been really bad positioning for Moonglade right now. But he has been able to snipe off a few Colossi, trying to snipe more. Not even going to get that third Colossi, almost sacrificing all of his Corruptors. Don't agree with that. He has such a nest of Stalkers. The Stalkers able to thin down the Colossi... The uh, corrupted numbers. So right now, Noni is in a much better shape than he was, but Moonglade does have good saturation at his third, and Noni's only just now getting uh, in the same ballpark economically. The good thing for Noni is that he does have a lot of those stalkers, which can protect those Colossi if they're in the right area. Now, of course, you can always sacrifice a bunch of those uh, Corruptors to get those Colossi, because there's only four of them so there's a, actually a few of them but there's so many corruptors being made they're just constantly being pumped out more sentries gonna be warped in colossi are still on their way but i don't know if this is a big enough force he's gonna move out 
And, uh, well, he did win this battle first, so we'll have to see if he can do it again. Timing attack coming here from Noni. Plus one, almost finishing 99%. He's gonna finish in the middle of this fight. Very crucial, because he's up against plus two upgrades for Moonglade. Moonglade's so good with those upgrades. Corrupt is able to sweep through all of those Colossi. No Colossi left. Corrupt is just throwing corruption on these ground units. Lots of Stalkers coming through. Bunch of sentries, but there's just so many Hydra Roaches. The Hydra is getting rowed, the Roach is getting rowed, but 16 more Roaches coming through for Moonglade. These Corruptors are intact. They're kind of like an insurance policy against more Colossi. That was really bad for Noni. This is exactly what Zerg wants to do. Zerg wants to trade armies with the macroeconomic lead, because Zerg is just going to remake the army. Look at that. Already hitting up towards the supply cap. Once again, that remaking that army so fast, where it's much harder for Noni right now. He's sitting at 95 food compared to 187 for Moonglade. He's in such bad shape because of that engagement. He thought the plus one attack, timing attack would be alright, but it was so late in the game that Moonglade was at plus two. Moonglade moving out towards this expansion right now, and there's really almost nothing Tan Noni could do. He was trying to get his fourth online, which is probably now going to be reduced to his third, trying to evacuate the probes. The probes getting shredded by these Hydra Roachfall coming in right now, might force field the ramp, decides not to, doesn't really have the force to engage, second Colossi joining him, but there's this nest of Corruptors, and this is terrible, terrible shape for Noni right now. Looks like Noni's gonna try and get a couple of mortal. he's got one coming out now, uh, to deal with so many Roaches on the field, but, I mean, it'll take care of that, but there's just so many Roaches and Hydras on the field right now that I don't think it'll be enough. I mean, he's now getting his expansion up that is now his fire. Yeah, looking at 199 food versus 100, trying to engage on this ramp, working on trying to attack up the ramp right now, and there's just so many units coming right now, brute forcing his way through. Moonglade is going to push right through <laughs> all these Corruptors, wiping out the Colossi, and this is the final thing. This force field is the only thing Keeping those roaches out right now, able to mop up these last couple of ranches. Good force field placement, bringing a bunch of sentries, but it's too little, too late. If he could have got them earlier, would be on a force field that ramp forever and ever. A desperation force field going down, but there's the ZZ. Apparently, that's better than GG. ZZ is the new GG if you're Liquid Tyler. But finally, mopping that out, looking like we just lost Dreadbane right on the edge of that uh, game there because Skype is just fantastic. We love you Skype for dropping us and making this really really hard to cast. So a little bit off sync there. Sorry guys, that's just Skype being horrible. But really exciting game there and Vengeance is Moonglades from the HDH takes out Liquid Tyler aka Noni in this best of three from the Cyber Gamer Pan Pacific Championships. Really exciting there and the interesting thing was it was a round one knockout by Moonglade like it was in the HDH and round run knockout for Noni. So really exciting ace match there.